Hi, my name's Andrew. Hi. And this is Benjamin. And today we're gonna wreck a chicken, chicken nuggets, nuggets and chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. Gang signs. Please, no gang signs. Today we have here a plate of chicken tenders, that is the tenderloin inside the breast meat, and we have a few chicken breasts. We are gonna make from scratch some chicken nuggets because we all know chicken nuggets is like my family. Because we like yes. chicken nuggets. Yeah, me especially. Loves chicken nuggets. Every kid loves chicken nuggets. But if you've ever seen how McDonald's makes their chicken nuggets, that's gotta disturb you and cause you to lose sleep. We're gonna go chicken nuggets and chicken tenders and like mag bite-sized tenders. Let's go! You're gonna need three cups of regular plain flour, one cup of cornstarch, kosher salt, three eggs, chicken breasts, and chicken tenders. I have some amazing news for you. Our good friends over at Creative Cajun Seasonings have partnered with us. We now have a discount voucher for you. You can go to the link in the description below and you can use the code RECA for a 5% discount. Yeah! Today we're gonna be using the Magic Swamp Dust. We're gonna be using green tomato slices. Now I grew up, I didn't know what green tomatoes were. Fried green tomatoes was some movie about some dude that ended up getting eaten in the movie. It was kind of weird. <laughs> we're gonna be battering these and frying them. Let's go. I'm now gonna prep the chicken breast to go through the meat grinder by dicing them into smaller chunks. Thanks, Babish. For those of you that don't have a grinder or the attachment to the KitchenAid, I'm just going to show you how to do this at home. We are going to keep cross-cutting until we have a minced or a ground profile. There we have a coarse grain, minced ground chicken breast. Let's load the diced chicken into the meat grinder. I'm gonna have my able-bodied assistant, Mini-Me. I shall call him Mini-Me. Put the chicken in the meat grinder. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. That's the last one. So I took the ground chicken and I added some of the creative Cajun seasoning, the swamp dust mix, some salt, a little bit of sugar, mix it all up, and now it's sitting here. We have our cornstarch, we have our egg wash, and we have our flour with more swamp dust blend. So this is how it's gonna roll. Today I'm using canola oil because that seems like the right thing to do. We don't want oversized. Part of me does. We're gonna just do about that size. Little 30 gram section chicken nugs. Oh, these are giant nugs. What do you reckon? You like that? Yep. That's bigger than the ones you have at Donnie's. What? You know, what? the Donnie's chicken nuggets. Oh, no. Rocky Roll McDonald's. Put that straight into our first cornstarch, straight into a wash, nice and covered. And then we're just gonna go right back into our swamp dust flour, and then very carefully lay it into our oil. We're gonna make some more now? Let's go. We don't want to overcrowd our pan, so we're only have like four to five in this skillet. See, if a kid can do it, you can do it. You excited to eat it? Yeah, and I want to eat it right now. I want to eat it right now too. Chicken nuggets is good. These are looking pretty stinking good. Eat your heart out, Ronald McDonald. Oh yeah, McDonald. You're probably gonna lose. Rocky Roll McDonald's. Now we're gonna take our tenders, and just like the chicken nuggets, we're gonna dredge them in our corn flour, bring them over into our little egg wash bath, and finish them off in our seasoned flour before retiring them, like Benjamin says, in their little hot tub. Hot tub of happiness. Can I get a hot tub? And now, what every chicken nugget needs, a best friend, fried green tomatoes. So I have a cup of flour here with Magic Swamp Dust seasoning, an egg and a little bit of water, and I've whisked it in until I have a consistency that's kind of like runny pancake batter. And I have obviously the star of the show, our sliced and pickled in this case, green tomatoes. Remember, we've got our discount code for y'all, fresh from the bayou in Louisiana. So let's give them a little wrap. You can't just get pickled green tomatoes anywhere, so give the good people at Creative Cajun Seasoning a call or an email, go to their website and place your order. Jimmy's an amazing guy. You wanna get out and support them and support your taste buds. Now's the exciting part. We get to taste what we made. Yep, and we get to see 
which one's the best? We have here a sample of each of the things we made. We have the chicken tender, we have the chicken little bite tender, which is the little mac tender, and then we have the chicken nugget, which we made at the very beginning. And here is our green fried tomato. So we have here our mango peach barbecue sauce. This one has ketchup, brown sugar, mango peach preserve, salt, sesame oil, a little dash of Worcestershire sauce, and our standard honey sriracha mayo. This one is mayo, honey, and sriracha. So Benjamin and I are gonna taste one at a time. We're gonna take one bite. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Choose any sauce, and then we're gonna just move through and see which one we like the most. So which one do you wanna take first? The tender, the full tender. Okay, ready? Cheers. Mm. That good? Mm -hmm. Knocked him off his chair. The chicken is super moist and tender and juicy. Mm -mm. That good? That's good. What are we gonna do next? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the fried green tomato? Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's good because the outside got a little bit with the tomato and the tomato tastes good with the outside skin and it tastes good. That's a proud parent moment if you can get your kids eating tomato. I think we should do this one next. That's this one. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I'm coming back over here. Mm. When food gets on your canvas, you know you're painting good pictures. You ready to have some fun? And now for the last one, the chicken nugget. Yes! Cheers! Mmm, that one's good. Mmm, Mmm, that's really good. This is accessible for anybody to do. You can get chicken anywhere. A lot of things taste a lot like chicken. It's a chicken. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a recommendation in the comments below and suggest a dish or a meal that you would like us to produce in the upcoming video. Make the algorithm start to work for us by hitting a like, putting a comment in, and sharing on your social media. We really appreciate you watching, and we hope you've enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye, and this one's the best. That one's the best. This is the nugget that we made from scratch.